I, I'm sure everyone will know this software named MySQL. But this one has a kind of long history now. Original development has started in 1994 and it came public 1995, which means almost 20 years since it, this product became public. However, it's a really popular open source database in the world, but uh, sometimes people who does not know much details of MySQL, or there are lots of myth, misunderstanding, rumors around MySQL. So today I'd like to introduce to, uh, newest information of MySQL, and we have really interesting future in MySQL development. My name is Yusuke Kajiyama. I'm coming from uh, Oracle Corporation. We have an organization named MySQL Global Business Unit. Actually, I'm part of the original MySQL Abe, which is a MySQL company, a Swedish company, small one, purchased by Sun Microsystems in uh, 2008. And soon after, big red company, Oracle, purchased Sun Microsystems. So I experienced two mergers of big, uh, small one purchased by big one, big one purchased by bigger one. That's the history of MySQL, but uh, still MySQL is part of Oracle, and we are an independent organization named the MySQL Global Business Unit, which is different from entire Oracle sales organization. MySQL is under chief corporate architect. Technically, it's a kind of CTO type of person. While all entire Oracle database, servers coming from Sun, Java middleware, and so on, are under business organization. So we are still doing all development and uh, enhancement support service of MySQL by ourselves. The last five years, which means when some microsystems came, became Oracle. Yes, it's already five years ago, some was first by Oracle. But uh, Oracle is investing more into MySQL nowadays than all those uh, support uh, developers tripled the test engineers, we call QA, QA engineer, and support stuff became done. And we do understand there are lots of rumors around MySQL and also concerns, worry, and what kind of FAQ, free, most frequent asked question, is Oracle killed MySQL? When Oracle killed MySQL, that's another question. But the short answer is no, we're still here. MySQL is still here, and we are accelerating development and enhancements. And also, well, first a few years, some became, was merged into Oracle. We had a not easy time to uh, contributing into the open source community. But now, we are here, we are uh, part of the uh, open source events, and we are announcing a lot of interesting information today. But what do we have done? We have we made a lot of MySQL products into the market, GA, General Availability, including MySQL Server 5.5 and 5.6, today's MySQL Server major version, as well as MySQL Cluster, I'll introduce it later on. A lot of tools around. MySQL continues to be the world's most popular open source database. Yes, Redbird is a uh, red big Oracle database, but MySQL is as an open source database. It's a far more popular uh, database. But where MySQL is popular? Yes, it's a web. Websites, you can name big ones. Facebook, Twitter. These are uh, kind of famous MySQL users, but they'll bring things. Booking.com is not an exception. Booking.com once decided to move out from MySQL, but they came, came back to MySQL with so seeing MySQL newest version, MySQL 5.6, which has some really excellent features I'll quickly introduce in later slides. But MySQL's target, or where MySQL is heading to, is web industries. Yes, optimize MySQL into web, but this is what we have been doing when we were tiny MySQL. As well as embedded use, software, appliances, or network equipment. So those equipment, those components need a database function inside. You can embed MySQL inside, and you don't have to add much memory or storage. This is a part of the big reason Oracle Corporation needed MySQL. Because to install Oracle DB, you need a huge amount of memory. To install your package software, you cannot ask the customer, hey, please install two gigabyte memory to install our software because it's using Oracle. But MySQL, it's easy. 
No words on uh, hundreds of megabytes of memory is needed. But a web is another place. My skin is the firm number one or de facto standard of the web industries. So MySQL is improving toward this area as well as cloud computing infrastructure because we are having a lot of our users, uh, both users and paid customers as well, in cloud computing area, starting from Dropbox or Evernote. I agree many of you are already using part of these ones. And not only software as a service, platform as a service. MySQL is a default or first database as a service of the many platform as a service vendors. Google Cloud Storage, sorry, Google Cloud Platform, they're still having the uh, database as a service, that's MySQL inside. So we're improving our product. First feature I'm introducing is software named MySQL Fabric. This is a framework that enables high availability as well as Sharding configuration, utilizing MySQL replication. Replication is a feature which people choose MySQL. That's kind of first reason. One of the reasons, yes, it's, it's open source. It has lots of storage engines. It's lightweight. But replication is another huge reason people choose MySQL. And now this fabric as a framework enables managing number of MySQL replication configuration and this group is part of the data another group of, another group of replication is handling another part of data the sort of sharing configuration we can do with this MySQL fabric and not only just a replication configuration utilizing OpenStack we can create uh, authenticate or entire uh, OpenStack based for private private environment we can tell application, hey, here's a new MySQL server booted through OpenStack Nova. That's a part of this data management group and working as a replication master or slave and so on. Application do not have to know every single service. All you need is talk with MySQL Fabric Central repository, fetching all the server layouts, and you get an easy, easy to access to uh, entire backend storage MySQL server replication configuration. Let's move on to next. So what we are currently developing is a software named MySQL Server 5.7. This will be the next major version of MySQL Server. We should be able to release by the end of this year. Why I can, I can tell this is this to be the by the end of this year? Partly because today, uh, sorry, a few days back, this Monday, we announced the MySQL 5.7.6. That will be the final beta version and in our reference manual, it's already saying next version to be the release candidate. So release candidate, there can be one more release candidate shot, it may come, but it won't take a long time to become GA, general availability of MySQL, which is the production version. With MySQL 5.7, it will be much faster than previous versions. This is the benchmark of selected benchmark. We actually have the updated benchmark as well, and as well as we analyze benchmark results. We are not doing benchmark for marketing. We really hate to do the benchmark for marketing. So this is, a, uh, we, you can know the reason why it's faster. Please visit our website or our developer's blog. It explains uh, every single details why it's faster. There are several reasons. We modify the source code, source code, the granularity of mutex, making the logs much smaller in the source code level. Optimizer became fast, small, uh, smarter. The data flushing algorithm became much, much uh, optimized, and so on. But if you are using MySQL Server 5.5, which is one major version lower than today's 5.6, you will get instant performance enhancement just upgrading to the 5.6. And we're almost doubling the performance of select of the, uh, in the MySQL in MySQL 5.7, still under development. In MySQL 5.6, today's major version, actually, when they, uh, in that, this version, 5.6 has an interesting feature named NoSQL API. Yes, MySQL Server does speak NoSQL API, and which is faster, like uh, for insert operation, data adding operation. Uh, NoSQL API for MySQL is nine times faster than just a regular SQL API. But in next version, it will be much, much faster. 
Then, if you are application developers, you need to understand how to improve SQL statement, or if you're DBA, you need to point out, hey, here's an issue in my SQL, I'm sorry, in your, your SQL statement. My SQL 5.7.6 comes with output of the uh, explain, which is uh, uh, optimizer's judgment, how to accessing to the data. We can now visualize utilizing MySQL GUI tool named MySQL Workbench. Internally, it's, uh, it's, uh, we change the output format of the explain plan, which is uh, how MySQL server judges how to access to data using index, using to the entire table scan, how to join multiple tables. You can see uh, this single diagram. Here's one big problem in, in red, which is we're doing a full table scan to a certain table, which slows down all operations. Now, another problem we are hearing a lot from the web application or DB, from DBAs is we found that the one SQL statement is causing a huge performance issue for the entire application or entire system. But with some reason, application developers reject it to fix. Or when we are using a packaged application, not only the proprietary applications, but uh, like open source monitoring tool like Zabbix. We are getting a lot from regarding the Zabbix issue. There's some certain SQL statement is slow, but no way for us to change that SQL statement because it's already prepackaged. Or using OR mapper, OR mapper is issuing so slow single statement. We want to change. Yes, now we can do with query like the project. You as a DBA, just changing the SQL statement issued by application using this uh, plugin. Was this certain condition or this keyword was in the SQL statement? Just change it in this way, and you can fix the issue right away as a, without involving uh, application developers. So we're, uh, this is just part of the features we are enhancing in MySQL 5.7, which is the uh, upcoming version. Other than uh, those ones, we are having a nice feature named the performance schema. You can lose every single detail of performance of MySQL server. But today, I don't have enough time to dig in, but I will tomorrow, or maybe the day after tomorrow, there is a session of uh, the performance schema. You can know the more details of the, what performance schema is, what you can get from those ones. Multi-source replication. Now we can gather all the information from multiple MySQL server into my single MySQL and to run and arise. And this multi-source replication may be done by other solutions. Other solutions is already having this one. But uh, there's a huge problem of multi-source replication in general, which is, since there are a number of master servers sending a SQL statement into one slave server, one database server MySQL as a slave, which will need to be much uh, no, uh, efficient to executing those SQL statements. But today's MySQL service implementation, or uh, back in MySQL 5.5 or older, or MySQL server folks based on the MySQL 5.5, they never be able to uh, handle properly the multi-thread operation and slave server. We introduced kind of baseline in MySQL 5.6, but 5.7, it will be the five times faster than today's MySQL server for the multi-thread operation in slave server. Multi-master replication will be part of the uh, MySQL, uh, should be part of MySQL 5.7. Again, this one, uh, for more details, you can learn a uh, session tomorrow or day after tomorrow. So this is part of uh, uh, enhancement of MySQL, and you may be familiar with MySQL server. But let me introduce one more thing, is MySQL cluster. MySQL has a two server uh, product. One is MySQL server, which is really popular among older uh, uh, web application users. But MySQL cluster, which is, Share nothing, active active database cluster, which means without having any shared storage, you can create multi-master active active database cluster instantly. So this is a kind of benefits for the lot of small web application to huge scale because it supports scale out architecture, adding more servers, and you get a huge performance and aspects. But uh, Active active database cluster is just a one phase of MySQL cluster. 
MySQL Plus is a really unique product. It can be categorized not only on the events. It's not NoSQL. This is truly the new SQL, hybrid solution of NoSQL and SQL database. So let me quickly explain who are using MySQL cluster. Originally, MySQL cluster was used a lot in telecommunications industries, starting from Ericsson, the Alta de Lucent, Nokia Siemens, or NEC, those manufacturers. They are using subscriber database or part of network equipment. And there is one logo, if you are based in Singapore, from your logo in the middle part of M1 Singapore, they are also utilizing MySQL cluster for the user management. Then, not only limited to telco industry, since MySQL cluster does not have any single point of failure, in the middle of right, there is a US Navy logo. Yes, US Navy aircraft carrier, aircraft operation management system is run with MySQL cluster. MySQL is, is pretty much mission critical database. And one more thing I gotta point out, and since on, on the top, Zynga, online game, they are using MySQL Cluster for the gaming platform. So MySQL Cluster is mission critical database as well as perfect database for the uh, social network web systems because on left hand side, there is MySQL Server. And when you are sending SQL statement to MySQL Server, they will be duplicated in data flows. At the same time, on right hand side, there are lots of NoSQL API come into one place. If you use the API, Memory Cache D API, MySQL cluster suddenly became transactional key value data store. And this transactional key value data store, MySQL cluster, somewhat, with some reason, it speaks SQL statement. So if you're looking for no SQL solution, MySQL cluster is a quite a great option, and it has a flexibility, speaking both no SQL KBS API and SQL API. It has a huge high potential, as a part of benchmark for the, it's a bit older version of MySQL cluster, but with 30 servers, it reaches almost 20 million updates per second. It's perfect for the social game, uh, telephone background, backend infrastructure. Newest version of MySQL cluster, now it reaches 200 million selects per second. It's a huge number, I believe, I hope. Well, we usually utilizing 30 servers, but it's not no special service, it's a regular x86. So this is a potential performance of MySQL cluster, but this one is a performance as a NoSQL storage. Using a NoSQL API, we have a C++ API, this benchmark is using C++, we also have a Java API, Lemcache as an API, Node.js API as well. If you're using a SQL statement, I may disappoint you because NoSQL API performance is too high, it only reaches 2.5 million selects per second. Well, it's quite a huge number as a SQL based LDBMX. But again, please remember, MySQL cluster is a hybrid database solution of active active, uh, active, active database cluster as well as transactional key value data store. It's not so common in the market uh, to see as of today. So, uh, I explained quite a lot of things uh, regarding the MySQL, uh, starting with MySQL Server 5.7, as well as MySQL Cluster. So if you're interested, uh, we have a booth outside of the, uh, this room, as well, I believe tomorrow, day after tomorrow, uh, we have uh, three sessions. MySQL uh, Replication, MySQL Performance Schema, and one more two sessions I forgot. This can be the MySQL fabric. There's uh, several sessions going on uh, next two days. And again, if you have additional questions, I will put you answer question right now, or please visit our booth outside. Okay, that's pretty much my session for now. I don't see any next speakers. Yes. Yeah, the next speaker oh. is here. <coughs> Can I so, ask uh, a quick question? Yeah. Go ahead. So last time I read aware that the MySQL cluster has uh, the size limit for the relational database. So uh, is there a limit now and what's the size? So the MySpec, uh, it, it doesn't have uh, any, any limitation in MySQL cluster. But uh, in the production use, uh, we're, uh, it's pretty much depending on the, how much memory you can afford. So practical usage of MySQL cluster is two terabytes, three terabytes is kind of kind of ideal or you know, large usage. But it never be that hard limit. 
So depending on the configuration, we can uh, go, go over way bigger size. You mean the, the database size? So the database size by spec is like you know, 600 exabyte or something. So this is pretty much taking it all together. But a practical usage is, you know, that's the, those numbers. So this, again, there's no hard limit. All right, thank you very much. That's, uh, <clears throat> if there's no other questions, let's give Ryusuke, Ryusuke, right? Ryusuke, a round of applause. <laughs> well.